Hey guys, June 28th, I got a uh, computer update, I guess you could call it. Uh, I finally got my computer all back together. Well, three-fourths back together. It's not fully done yet, as you can see. Um, well, you'll see a lot more here in a second. I just got the camera sitting up right now, so I don't feel like holding it the whole time because I suck at holding the camera. So basically, here's what we got. Um, if you watched my last video, uh, the computer was out of the case, and the video before that, I had it flipped the other way, and now I've gone back to the traditional CPU on top, graphics on bottom, except I got my power supply on the bottom, which we'll go down and see, which you can see there. Got the power supply on the bottom, OCZ, 700 watt, blue LED fan, you can kind of see there at the bottom. That intakes air from down here and uh, brings it up through and goes out the back so none of the or well, I should say at least 90% of the heat doesn't get into the case so I mean this you know barely above room temperature I mean under load I'm sure it probably gets a little warm but I'm not worried about it and basically uh, if you look down let's uh, see if I can get down here there we go a little bit I got my PCI Express lead for when I get my new graphics card, which will be, um, I don't know, a couple weeks, a month, two months, I don't know. I'm really wanting to get a CPU before I get another graphics card, because I have more fun with those. But I'm starting to not be able to play some of the newer games with the good settings I want to play them at, so, you know, because my monitor runs at 1680 by 1050, and I'd like to play all my games at that, but I definitely can't play Crisis, and World in Conflict, and or World in Crisis, whatever, and uh, all those new ones that are cool, I can't really play them as high as I want, so. Basically, I was talking in one of my other videos about, I I switched this mesh around down here, and, uh, here, let me take this camera off of here, it's probably easier. Alright. Basically, right here, this is going to get moved, obviously, and this, contraption here with these fans, which isn't really the final design. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this, but this is going to go sit down in here. Well, it's not really going down there right now, but there it goes. A little bit. There we go. But like I said, i got to work on it a little bit, but that's basically going to go in there and intake air and blow it up this way. Let me see the next gigabyte. IDE cable there, which I had to use because I moved this up there instead of having it down here, so I'm going to have to buy a new one of those. And if you notice, it's got a 140 millimeter fan, I got it right in there, and a 120 millimeter fan. All the fans are on low, so this is about as quiet as it'll ever be right here. See, I got my Antec blue. I'm, I was trying to get all the blue ones on the inside so I can light up the inside but still keep the outside kind of dark because, I mean, I'll never really see the back too much being as that it's all the way across my room. Here's the big hole that was created by the power supply cage getting taken out, which I need to cut off the back piece and re-rivet uh, re it back on here because I realized that I jumped too quickly and didn't realize that that piece had to be on there for anything to be mounted there, so I might end up mounting the power supply up there maybe at one time. I mean, I don't know. I I change things so much. You know, I only go about every two three weeks, and then I change the way my computer goes. But I really like this design. And if you guys look, you can't see the cables. Well, there you go. See, there's some SATA cables right there. This light sucks. Sorry. Well, if you go around the front, you'll see fan controller, which I need to get a new one. You got that front part there. You go down, and that's just kind of sitting there. And as you can see, oh, there's a Silverstone fan controller. And up oh, there's my hard drive. And the reason why I don't have the front on there is because, well, as you can see, I need to get some new SATA data cables because, uh, these don't fit. Uh, I can barely squeeze the, uh, front grills on there, but as you can see, it's tight, and I'd rather not take the chance of having one of those come disconnected, even though they are the ones that clamp on there or whatever. But as you can see, that's that. 
I only have two of them hooked up because I couldn't get the third one hooked up and have enough room because my cables are they're stretching. I mean, they're too short as you can see there. There's the stretch that they're going to go. I'd show you the other side, but it's not really anything to look at right now. Here, I'll pull these off real quick. As you can see, there's the inside of that. This fan right here runs on high 12 volts all the time, but it's not really too loud unless you get it. Not too bad, I got the silver stone all the way on low. If I turn that all the way up, it gets kind of loud. That's low right there. Oh, yeah, and I forgot I got fan up here, thermal take 80 millimeter, that I replaced the, the CM uh, Cooler Master one that was in there because this one flows more and the air actually goes up the top. But as you can see, I got some fans there that will eventually find their way in. I know those 80 millimeters will, and I think I'm probably going to put another 120 millimeter here when I get my new fan controller so I can put the Silverstone one right here. Because this one will be gone. I won't need this one. Which, actually, I want to tell you guys, this is a cheap one that I bought from some computer store around here for like $10. And I see how all these like 30 and $40 fan controllers fail. And then I'm like, wow, I spent like 10 bucks for this one. It even came with the little USBs. I mean, it's only a three. You know, I can turn that thing all the way up That one. It's kind of annoying. It gets mostly blocked by that mesh on top. But that's pretty much it. Um, anybody want to know what my hardware is? It's, uh, it's all on my channel and on my other videos. So I don't really think I should waste time and go through it again. And as I can say, I got this ugly... I need to get a longer IDE cable or something to hide this here, but I just had a kind of, you know, gigabyte because my old 965 DS3 I had, which is a great motherboard. A little complicated because of the way the BIOS settings were for the beginner, I guess, but, you know, that's about that. You got your 8-pin eight eight CPU power, which you can barely see that runs down, up, up, around on top and then in there that's about that but alright I think I'm running out of time here so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you guys with that I'll give you one more overview here of what this looks like there you go thanks for watching uh, another update real soon when I get these here fans in there and uh thanks for watching this is Rick Harder